stocking up and just kind of get ready to lay down so it's gonna be turned into just worms fishing um, worms crawls back to fishing the silver throwing your silver stuff and it's gonna get a lot simpler especially if you're a new guy you know you know you see a lot of bass fishermen fishing all this stuff spinner baits hard baits crank baits and this crank baits and all this kind of stuff um, during this time, it's slipping into the winter time. It's getting really cold. Lakes and ponds are getting cold. And so fish are just kind of going into that mode where they just, they're nibbling on crawls, worms, creature baits, and those things are very, very good. Um, silver, throwing the silver spoon, that's very, very good during this time. Um, we're gonna hop right into it. Of course, I always talk about it on my show, you know, that go-to thing that all companies, sports, there's always that rift in things and things start to change and things got start to get really hyped up. And I'm talking about Mystery Tackle Box. Mystery Tackle Box is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. Uh, you'll check them out. And also check out my link and get your first box, $10 down, $10 down on your first box. So. Put in that link, it's your first box as a new guy. It comes with a lot of great things, you know, they got a box for different levels, for a pro level, for a beginner level, and they throw different baits, different lures into the box so you can taste um, different things on your platter because it's good to dip and dive into different things because you might land on something that turns into gold, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's happened to me before, I use certain baits in the tackle box. And that was something that I use in the rigor. So check out MissionTackleBox.com and uh, get that going. So we're going to talk a little bit about winter baits. I'm going to post some of those baits and lures and different things that work perfectly during this winter season. Um, trick worms, those type of things. Anything that looks like a worm, anything a worm will do great during the winter time because these fish are buckling down and tightening up during this winter season or, or especially crawls, you know. 
put that on a uh, jig. You know, if you live out, you know, in the rocky areas, I always throw a football jig across. You know, those things work very well. And the color, usually I use dark color, like a brown color, or you can talk to the guys at um, Dick's Sporting Goods. They can match you up with, uh, at Bat or Bass Pro Shops, they can match you up with different things. But, you know, dark colors, uh, black and blue jigs, those type of things work. You know, any type of worm works, you know. So, um, and that's what I specifically use during the winter time is um, worms. Those things work very, very well. You know, especially getting that cold weather and the fish is really slow and they don't want to chase nothing and use up a lot of energy and stuff like that. So it's basically crawls, you know, and worms. So that's what I've used in the past five years. I've caught, I caught like a, a six pounder in like the dead of winter on this worm thing that I picked out of my box randomly and um, had a little tail on it, but I caught a six pounder in that thing. The fish was frozen solid. It didn't put up, put up much of a fight because it was frozen. It was a little small pond, you know, not a lot of room to move around. But, um, <clears throat> um, but that's very, very good to use during this winter time. Like I said before, you know, things narrow down, baits, lures, and things like that narrow down. Um, it's uh, simple during this time. And um, <clears throat> it's basically, you know, just fishing the simple things and you get great, great, great results. And um, so, that's just kind of a brief summary of <clears throat> fishing thing that you can fish during the winter time. Those things work very, very well. If you want to stay in your fishing, you know, it's, it's cold and freezing, it's, it's rough. But these baits and lures work, especially the spoon, especially in deep water, you know, throwing your spoon out and just kind of popping it, popping it off the ground, just kind of swerving, let it pop off the ground, just kind of swerve back. That resembles a dime bait fish or a fish that's struggling, which these fish don't have to work really hard to do to get these things, especially the crawls. You know, they go right after the things in the worm. And also swim baits, which is moving really, really slow. You know, uh, <clears throat> these things work and uh, it'll make your winter time great. And so, um, just some winter tips to help you in this winter time. It's not winter yet, but you know, it's getting colder. These are the times where fish are stocking up and getting ready to go into that next stage. So you can throw some things around this time, but these fish are buckling down. Um, just give me some nit bits on uh, this winter transition and the fall transition where these fish are basically stocking up. That's why you see a lot of people throwing big baits, crank baits, spinner baits, big baits, because these they know these fish are after big prey. And so as things narrow down, you know, it's, it's great, you know, because basically, like I said, as a new beginner, you know, you can be, you can just throw like four different lures and you're good. You have to worry about all this other stuff and things like that. All you have to worry about is moving those baits. That's a very, very key. Like I talk about all the time, you know, it's based upon movement because all these these fish have this genetic code in their mind. Man. You move that bait a certain way. That's why you see a lot of bass fishermen pros. They get the movement down. They switch from different movements when they're casting out, when you're retrieving. They switch from different movements to get these fish. You know, like I say before all the time, you know, you have the best best lures in the world, man. But if you don't move that stuff right, these fish will not bite. I'm a testimony uh, to that. You know, moving a certain bait a certain way gets you get like great, great, great results. So uh, get into that movement, master the movements of those baits and lures, and the perfect guy to help you and to assist you with that 
is none other than the Gene Denson Fluke Master because he's helped me a lot in my fishing career, especially in my early days where I didn't know nothing about bass fishing. All I knew is that these guys go to terms and make buku amounts of money. I've seen a couple fishing shows, glanced at them over the years since I was a kid, but learning these lures and baits are, are good. Some take more effort than others, but when you get those things down, you will start to rack up on some major fish and pop action. So these videos just to motivate you and get you out there and let you know that fishing ain't that hard, baby. It's just about how you move it. You know what I'm saying? It's all about moving. That's what I learned in my early days of fishing. It's all about movement. Every time I caught a fish or things that weren't going right, it's all about movement. So with all that saying, go out, do your thing, break out and bust those big baits, you know? Do your regular thing, but as things progress into the winter, you can grind it down and just use simple baits. So until next time, um, enjoy you guys, having you guys here on my channel. If you like what you've heard <clears throat> and received, subscribe and get more videos from The Nature Boy. And until next time, woo! Remember, keep it Pop it. Don't wake me, I'm not dreaming.